Hello. Good evening, everyone. Uh, welcome to Picture the Poet Live. Uh, it's lovely to see you all here. Thank you very much for coming. Um, tonight is an event that's a celebration of the Picture the Poet kind of exhibition, uh, which is a touring exhibition uh, which is going all around the country, and Sheffield is its second spot. We've got a really, really exciting lineup tonight for you with a whole range of different poets. We've got some um, young people who've been part of a, kind of an outreach program that have been asked to write work inspired by the exhibition. You're going to hear from them. Uh, we've got two local poets that have kind of come out of the kind of the live South Yorkshire poetry scene in recent years and we've also got two headliners we're very excited about um, Buddy Wakefield who's going to be on in just a moment and Lem to say Two things make me nervous art galleries and English people and they're in the same <laughs> in the sa I just feel like everything I can't touch anything and I'm going to say something inappropriate <laughs> Do you remember that time we sat on top of the whole world and we told each other jokes <clears throat> about the ocean until everybody crumbled into tattoos of bakeries? It smelled good. It felt right. We laughed so much that night. I was always looking for a four-leaf clover. Y'all, it had nothing to do with luck. Any revelation, any size, if we thought it would help, we would tell it to you. Like a drunk octopus, riled up and wasted on light like this, like energy. <sighs> Can neither be created nor destroyed. That means we, we are all exactly the same age. And I'm here today for the Picture the Poet live exhibition and I'm, I've been working with a fantastic organization called Roundabout. It's brilliant to be in there and to, to kind of um, discover some of the hidden talents that these young people have and we've written about identity and about uh, who, who are we and looking at that subject. Through school teachers laid me as a scribbler, narrow-minded, couldn't express myself any differenter. But they tell me what I, what I could do and what I couldn't but they said I'm not a listener. You do your worm impression, and I do my caterpillar. You do your worm impression, and I do my caterpillar. You do your worm impression, and I do my caterpillar. You do your worm impression. Give me whatever bullet you desire, for I know it will contain only something beautiful. Give me your weapons, and I will use them on myself. You may have caught the animal, my love, but the animal wasn't struggling. I'm here because I've fallen in love with poetry for the, what, the six years that I've been doing it. It's absolutely fantastic. It's made a massive impact on my life. I don't know what I've done without it, to be honest. We've um, gone up to the picture of the poet exhibition and we had to select a picture that spoke to us and sort of write about it. So who is Mother Nature to give up on him? He is basketball, not the spoils of war. His eyelashes the envy of all. His heart beat then and her thunder would will it back. His hair had turned silver when finally I was afforded. The creases in his face slid downwards, bitterness and depression, causing deep scars around his mouth. Please, please give a very warm welcome. Give it up for Mr. Lem Sissay. Thank you. So, uh, you know, I've just uh, end of an 11-year relationship, uh, and I've started to date, you know, because a day had passed. And uh, went to uh, the uh, restaurant on this date, and uh, she she asked me, uh, you know, she said, uh, what what um, you know, tell me a bit about yourself. What what do you like? And I said to her, I said to her, I've got a poem about. Museums and, and galleries, they're, they're traditional buildings that, that are seen as high art, I suppose, and so poetry, spoken word poetry, 
um, for sure is, is, is something that everyone can engage in. So I think it's great that we can be in a space like this and to claim it and to say, you know, we, we deserve to be here as poets. My general impression of the evening uh, was one of uh, ecstatic joy. It was quite wonderful and I found myself uh, laughing and laughing and laughing and then the occasional tear <laughs> because it was really, really quite beautiful. Apart.